Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play. Now today with a game called War Banners. This is available right now on Steam for the price of around 20 euros and it was made by Krasseline Games and it is a game about tactics, hexes and uh, it has multiple languages and the option to uh, decrease the, uh, the health of all units by uh, 30%. So you could make the game flow a bit faster and, you know, make it a bit a, a bit more fluid. I'm actually going to turn this on so it'll be a bit uh, faster. Now, um, here's the thing. I I, I, um, I really, really wanted to have more time to make the, 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 the final shows for the rest of the year. You know, what's left of the year. But uh, things came up, so um, I've, I've not played this before. This is the first time I'm playing War Banners. It's it's going to be an interesting experience. So let's let's make the best of it. We now have difficulty modes. Easy, less enemies, 20% more gold for completing missions, uh, normal rules, classic, okay. Uh, more enemies, less gold. Mm, you know what? That's the kind of thing that I don't really enjoy all that much when it comes to difficulty modes. Like, you get... Yeah, it makes it harder, but does it make it more rewarding? I mean, what I liked about um, things like uh, Warlord's Battlecry 2 is that you could activate things like Iron Man mode, which did not let you uh, save when you wanted to, but you got a 30%, 30 I believe, uh, experience bonus. So there was actually a benefit to you enabling that and doing well with it. It wasn't just punishment. So I'm going to pick normal. Okay, let's start this out. It's been 500 years since the Ooh, necromancers. Me likey. Every, city, every village, every farm was drowned in fire and blood. So it was Black Friday, what is what you're saying? They won. By the grace of the gods and the power of steel, the undead were banished from the lands of the living, and the necromancers were destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okie okay, dokie. I like the the sharing effect. Like these are nice. Like they're simplistic drawings, but they're nice. Like they they've got some charm to them. The events of the distant past live on, thanks to the gray bearded storyteller. Like me, thanks to the old people. <laughs> it's just we made things good. <laughs> yeah. So Master Pringus, wasn't that a uh, a brand of chips? The innkeeper was busying himself shouting at the, the uh, hapless maid. That's kind of mean. His tavern squatting in a wretched village on the banks of the river Zefari was really busy this afternoon. And uh, get a move on. Shilla. Her name's Shilla. What we'll call it, Shilla. Then I have to do a, an Australian accent. Went out to something poor. Shilla couldn't uh, manage something, something, something. Charge out a tavern, brandishing a long sword. And I did not read most of it. Okay, so we're in combat mode. Now, in combat mode, our objective is to kill these guys, I believe. And make sure, okay, this tutorial. Uh, selecting a unit. Attack, move, skill. Okay, I think I, I think I get it. Yeah, I, th I think I think I understand how to... I can understand how to play a hex-based strategy game. Look, at the, the guy moved. Like, the guy moved a bit. Now, there is an option in the game to disable or enable... Sw ah, goddammit. Like when they pop up, there is like a jarring effect. The there is a the game hitches for a second or so. It's kind of a scary. So the game has the option to enable swaying trees or disable them. That's kind of nice. I mean, it would have been better if they if they didn't just pivot. Me yeah, I, I, this would have been nicer if you showed it to me when I was actually doing something. If they didn't just pivot and were a bit more, you know, animated, like maybe bits of them moved at different speeds. But yeah, let's let's go into the action phase. This is our Roderick character. Wasn't the guy from uh, the default name from uh, for a guy from uh, what you call it? Um, the Vint Original Sin. Yeah, that, that's him. Okay, let's select this guy. We should move him. Next unit, next unit. Wow, we got a lot of units. A lot of units. Okay. Uh, probably should have read that the thing better. I don't know. Moving doesn't seem to be actually working as I thought it would. 
Let's see, manual. How do I move the guy? I didn't read a thing. Select a unit using a skill potion, display information, space, use potion, use skills, okay, but how do I actually move them? Effects, battle, spells, unique, uh, before, place a unit, well, this is going to be a horrible play now, sorry about that, but I uh, didn't have that much time to do these shows, sadly, because I've got other things, you may actually be hearing noise on the background, that's, that's one of the other things that's happening right now, so, uh, attacker, can I just get them to advance on their own i'm gonna enter and see what happens oh no wait battle hasn't started yeah that's the reason why i can't move him battle hasn't started there's even a sign there see it's a situation like that 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 cuphead turtle thing yeah <laughs> silly me silly game previewer journalism person i can attack the bushes oh yeah damn you bushes you know what you did you did 9-11 that's gonna yeah th this video is gonna be demonetized right now cool I, I know it will let's move these guys here yeah they're not gonna be all that great with uh, them not having enough movement points to actually do something but hey they're doing something the peasant isn't mine okay so let's uh let's end turn oh no he shot at me he got a crossbow and all and everything the poor peasant, don't kill the, the peasant, I think that's actually the, uh, 3 versus 15. Uh, let's actually attack with, with this guy, 3 versus 65. I think I'm gonna lose this battle, like, maybe I can encircle them. Versus 10, okay, I messed with that one. You, mister, should probably go, okay, that's the facing icon, oopsie. That was facing, I missed him. You go down there and check them in the face. You shoot them from there. Okay, that's that's actually better. Can you shoot again? No, you cannot shoot again. This guy even has special abilities like heroic cry and defensive stance. And shield and commander and stuff. Uh, you, 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 you go down there and uh, you can't really do much because you wasted all your uh, movements. Okay. Well, I can actually undo actions. Huh. That's actually useful. They missed. Oh, the peasant's dead. The peasant is the Ooh, that guy? The guy's on a horse, actually. I just saw that. Okay, wooden shield. What can he do? Evasion for one turn. So you can basically turtle there. And bam. Okay, one of them's dead. I missed them. You, you. Up there. Uh, you should probably move back a bit and then fire from you. You don't have enough movement points to actually do that, do you? No. Not enough. Okay, punch him. You missed as well. This guy this guy has an attack with a sword. I don't know exactly what it is. But since the rest of you are a uh, little hunky-dory, why didn't you fire at them? Yes, that's good. You moved, you moved. Uh, that's all of them. Okay, they missed. But the horse guy is going to kill him. No, he missed. He missed. Wow, these, uh, these guys are not really all that... Uh, Intimidating, even though they kill that peasant. Peasant probably deserved, I mean, you know, they're peasants. They they do all sorts of zany, zany stuff. Evil stuff, too. Just just look at the Witcher 1. Peasants are the worst. The worst. Missed. Missed again. I've... Yeah, I did lose the guy. That's okay. We're gonna get revenge now. Let's activate this. Just so uh, we can keep him as a shield. What do we have there? Oh, I can. I have to choose on who I use the selective, the defensive stance. Okay, okay, I did it. Miss. Two. Yeah, actually, go back up here and quank him in the face, and you maybe hit him. Uh, that wasn't awful. I think I forgot to attack. No, did I did attack with this guy. I don't remember. Okay, Archer Man, do the thing. He did not do the thing. Did not do the thing either. Stop doubling and do the thing. Did, you didn't do it well enough. Or damage. Okay, that's that's not bad. That was bad. That was actually quite awful. 
Okay, Mess. Okay, finally that guy's dead. Uh, kill that guy. Kill that guy. Can you don't have any? Oh no, we do have a move. Yeah, move here. Yes, you do have range. You missed. You worthless varmint. Let's move these guys into position to kick this guy in the face. And he missed. And I got hit. Come on. You can do it. Four damage. What's this guy have left? He's got three life left. Mm, he's riding a boar, actually. Didn't know that. So look like a gnarly horse. Move up here in threat range. I can actually attack that thing. What else can I do to it? I don't know. Should probably check better before I did that. Turn eight. Um, go there. Punch him. Punch that. Yeah, you're not gonna get away. You're gonna be absolutely trapped here. That I, I can absolutely guarantee. And that's it for the um, the first mission. So all my care, yeah, except for this guy, he does not get experience on account of he's dead. You may have just heard some noises again on the background because there's things happening around here. That's okay. Can I resurrect them? I believe. Oh, I actually had fire arrow. Oh, wait. Army camp, you can hire all level up units, something, 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 something. Is this the rest of that generates fire? I, I can equip them with fire. Okay, uh, Roderick. You like him some fire, right here, have some fire. See, you can, you can fire things. Can I resurrect? Yes, I can. You're back to life. Archer, you are back to life. Back to reality. And let's see, assistance. We can hire some people that the beginning of the turn will curse the enemy. Okay. I kind of like this game. Uh, before we start the battle, fire on two empty hexes. Why empty hexes? Set Shamar at the beginning of the kill us a random enemy. Oh hell, yeah, but I don't have enough money for them. Any of them. Mercenaries and potions. Um, I can buy. A, no, the priestess is locked. I'm at the basic tech level right now, so I can't really uh, invest that much. And I can buy a, a dancer. What you gonna do? Rid him to death? Because rhythm is a dancer, you know. You can buy it by a singing sword. Wait, do, do I buy just the sword or the person too? I think that maybe just the name of the mercenary, the elf mercenary. Awake Ent. Okay, the, the elf has the summon Ent ability. Let's go to... This is the Mark store. Uh, assistance, uh, silver griffins. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the uh, basic idea of the game. This is the world map, and I can go into the arena to do uh, PvP, I think. Okay, now select the missions in the world map. Okay. This this game honestly reminds me of... Uh, well, the map, well, the first kind does remind me a bit of the um, Warlords Battlecry 3, because that was uh, kind of this kind of succession of uh, missions and events. It wasn't uh, world-based like the second one, which is why I like the second one a bit more. And it does remind me of uh, a bunch, and I mean a bunch of um, free-to-play online games, uh, like Saga. I used to love Saga, but I, it's been closed down for ages and I haven't played it in even more ages. One week ago, Roderick has fulfilled his childhood dream. He had uh, formed his squad of mercenaries, the solar griffins, uh, canvassing the towns, of recruits, something, something, select if you find his physical, something, something, solar griffins, out of tavern. Please help zombies the farm. Okay, let's go kill some zombies! Uh, approach mercenaries can make the shadow a pleasant sucking, you know, sucking noises. Okay, that's um, well, I'm not, I mean, they're zombies, so they're dead, but still, I'm not one to judge. Mm, is this supposed to be night? Like, this is this is a kind of a poor excuse for a night map. Like, if this is supposed to be night, it's just it's it's a lower light, it's it's not night. Okay, so let's move this guy up here. In front, this guy staying in the back, and um, we do have fire, so we can absolutely burn these guys to death. Why are you doing this constantly? If I, I'm gonna learn how to play the game eventually, you know, you don't have to remind me every two turns what I have to do. 
uh, thing that I wonder what exactly what exactly the uh, the extra um, what do you call it? Uh, what is this thing? Oh, to hit chance. That's my to hit chance. Okay, yeah, that explains it. Okay. Each hex has, has an illumination level. Okay, decided by the hour. Inverted by light sources. Okay, so we have we should set something on fire. Okay, that is actually better than I thought it would be. I missed. And uh, I'm gonna set them on fire. Uh, generates fire on two hex randomly selected within one hex of target. Bam! Get flame. I then get flamed. But we do have a light around him, so it's gonna be easier to hit him. I'm actually gonna stand back with these guys and maybe form them into a shield kind of formation, like protect the arches behind and sort of funnel the enemies towards me. There's something with five. What is that thing? Uh, moving closer, we just shoot them. Let's just shoot them. Uh, you. I probably should not have bring in, brought you back from the dead. I mean, you are absolutely... Did, did you leave your aiming skills back in the land of the dead? Did you hear what I just said? There, there's a song lurking there somewhere. Bam. Let's move you here. Did you attack? Okay, you attacked. And let's now perform the pincer movement. By which I mean I'm gonna pincer myself in this position and hope things go okay. What exactly? Oh, that's bleeding. Bleeding is bad. That's a ghoul. A ghoul has deafening roar and the carrion feast. Interesting, and it, it can uh, eviscerate. Okay. Bam. Can I actually heal you with something? No, I do not believe I can. Oh, that was painful. I'm gonna go up here. I can still. No, I cannot attack that thing. Sadly, it's uh, kind of miscalculated on my behalf yeah i pushed them too far but i do have these guys with a really low chance to hit i think that these guys are blocking the path of the archers maybe maybe it's the distance like you can still move after you attack we have enough uh, points left okay mr r what can you do Within two hexes, receive five moral interpreters and just be to overcome panic. Well, I don't need that yet, so I'm going to keep it for later. Bam, five damage. You got hit in the face. Okay, it's... Uh, let's go back into the light. The light. Go back into the light. Should not have pushed these guys so far up there. Uh, can you do something? Oh, yeah, you can probably kill the zombie. Yep, that guy's dead. Okay, and turn. Uh, you know, it's, attack, it's simplistic at first sight, but I do believe there are more layers to it that I'm not seeing. Well, I, they're, they're being shown to me as I play on, like with the mercenaries, with the, the people I can hire to punch, to curse and do other stuff. And the, the illumination level, that's also something that's uh, not obvious at first sight, but it is actually there and it is important. Uh, okay, let's see. So all in all, I... I think this game has legs, so you say it. It's, uh, it looks complicated enough to be quite interesting. Uh, a lot of energy. But I can move you here now. Yes. Okay, this guy's... Ooh, that was a bad sign. Okay, mister, you're gonna do this? I said you're gonna do this? Hotkey A. Yeah, everybody got a boost. You can attack, but you got a boost. And you missed your goddamn varmint. Should probably move the archers closer or something. Can you kill that thing? Yes, you did. And yes, you could. And you'll keep missing that guy because he's in, uh, he's in darkness. He's always in darkness. Can I loot things? No, I don't think I can loot things. Well, I can move them. See, moving things around that that's actually a good way of uh, making things more tactical okay, the thing didn't attack does it have a uh, wait a minute requires for action it has a cooldown so you can't use it instantly but why did it not attack it does have night vision so it can see very well in the dark 
poison immunity, wearing oh, stamina damage. Curious why I didn't attack. Hmm. Come on, stop missing. Just stop missing for once. Maybe the archer skill, 10%. Okay, yeah. Kill them with 10% chance. Get closer. Closer. Even closer. You too. Okay, and turn. Okay, the other ones are uh, coming by. So let's uh, let's get the archers in here. Let's get this guy here. And let's uh, actually keep uh, keep it tight. Keep them in the light. Oh, they're not in the light. See, this was a miscalculation. Oh, the light went out. Should have probably not used the uh, the glowy thing, uh, the fire on the first turn. Like, this is... Uh, this is not good. I should probably bought a lantern. See, high sight, hindsight is 2020, so I should have probably bought something yeah now now it seems logical of course you should have bought a lantern and seen the dark but i didn't know i was gonna fight in the dark i mean if i had looked at the map first sure i should have known but i didn't because i'm stupid come on oh missed again okay that's that's some damage okay it's just one hp left okay come on yes okay so this isn't as difficult as i thought it would be it's not ideal, but it's not impossible. And nobody's died yet. I mean, no, nobody that used to be alive up until this encounter. Yeah, uh, no. Four. Missed. I was kind of hoping the smoldering ruins of these huts would still provide some ambient light, but no such luck. Let's move him here. Kind of screwed myself by putting the barrel there. I can only attack it because I cannot move it downwards. This guy could move it sideways, though, but he, he can't attack anymore because he uh, already moved. Of course, you missed. So look at you. Okay. And you missed too. And oh, that guy is so dead. He's double dog dead. He's like, if dead. Out of oh no, he's still alive. And I got a Stormbringer. No magical, no ability mag, no ability magical attack, no ability universal. But it does give plus one strength. And these guys gain experience. Uh, the higher level, the stronger the more you're okay. Level one. Uh, you're instant experience. Uh, I'll get to choose what they get. Cool. Nice. Uh, level up. Uh, let's give him some. Okay, that's good. You, you, you accuracy, of course. Oh, we get one more level up. Okay, strength. You don't get anything. You don't get anything. You get strength. Okay, so these are randomized, so they're not the same every time you uh, get to level one with one creature. So that's uh, that's actually a very neat point. Now uh, let's give some attention. I should give a guy some magic. Oh, this guy didn't have uh, that much to do actually. I'm gonna give it this to you, and again you get the uh, the potion. Can I hire assistants now? Mercenaries. Can I have some mercs? Uh, still locked, still locked. Can get a peasant, but I mean they're peasants. Peasants don't do much. Do we have lamps? No, we do not have. A Actually, we do not have lamps, so it's okay. I I did not get a lamp because we did not have lamps. See, see, I knew I knew I didn't mess it up completely. But I really want this priest. I mean, she has healing, which is awesome. Let's go back to the world map. And from here, we go, we go on several quests and do basically heroic stuff. And then we can go to the arena and... Uh, ooh. Against people, against the green skins. In the mountains. During daylight. That is just PvP, but no, it's, it's, it's still single player. I'm going to get five orcs. Let the orcs advance, let them come to me. Let them come to me. Actually, I think that's high ground. I may be screwed now. If that's that's high ground. Like, you can tell by the way it's shifted a bit. 
Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Or maybe they are. Who knows? We'll see. No, I think I am screwed. So this has been it for the uh, play now of War Banners. It's uh, it's a game that has more to it than meets the eye. Like tactics wise, it's uh, it's really it's good. Like you've got a lot of choices, a lot of options to interact with the environment. It's uh, you've got units with several uh, different abilities that level up that have statistics. It's uh, s sort of a bit like Heroes of Might and Magic or King's Bounty used to be in the olden days, but a bit more advanced than that. Actually, no. Have you ever played Fantasy General? It, it honestly reminds me a bit of that, only in that game when the units advance on level, they, they get a new form. It's sort of like that, but a bit more advanced in terms of mechanics and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I would probably suggest that you go and check it out. It's available right now for 20 euros on Steam, but keep in mind that I've only been playing it for uh, 20 minutes. So, uh, they may not be entirely correct about this game, but so far, I'm liking it. So, yeah, the first 30 minutes, it's, uh, it's actually a nice game. So I'm going to see you again soon with uh, another play now of something that I did not have time to play all that much. And then uh, we know more shows and then we'll have a uh, end of the year type kind of situations. Goodbye.